Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina. In this video, I am going to be doing a plan with me in my classic happy planner using a vertical kit from a shop called Chic Street Sticker Boutique. She is my one of my all-time favorite sticker shops for foiling. I just got this kit. It is called Flower Shop, and I purchased it in silver glitter. And make sure you get all that goodness in there. And this is the full kit. She was having a sale and I was able to capitalize on getting the full kit. And these are the sheets that came with it. She gives you a lot. You can definitely get two weeks out of the kit. Here are your trackers. Uh, she gives you a bunch of trackers, some labels. And like I said, she usually gives you two weeks worth of date covers. So this is the full kit. And again, I got it in silver glitter and I love it. I love all of her kits. I added on the deco also in silver glitter and I added on the extra torn papers. So these two were the extra add-ons. They did not come ah, in the kit. So I am going to be laying down my base. I am not going to be using any character stickers or any washi. I feel like her kits already have so much going on. They're vibrant, they're bright, and they have foil. So I don't wanna take away from any of that. So let me take my sheets out and I'm going to be back planning August. I believe it's, let's see, August 21st through the 27th. So I'm going to white out the dates and the days of the week and lay down the date covers. Okay, next I'm going to lay down some bottom washi and I'm going to use the washi with the little picket fence at the very bottom with the flowers. So I'll put that at the very bottom of my pages. I feel bad for even cutting <laughs> this little piece because her stickers are so beautiful. So I'm trying to determine how I want to lay down my full boxes because it looks like it's a seam. So I don't know if I should break it up too much uh, across the two pages. So I think I'm just going to kind of lay them down starting from the left to the right. So because this is a happy planner, the boxes are much longer than a standard vertical sized planner. A lot of shops in my experience don't offer happy planner kits. So I really only plan in like vertical standard vertical kits. So I'm always challenged like what to do in the space between each box. So what helps me kind of fill everything in is definitely putting in headers. She has a really pretty thin strip of washi right here. And I'm not sure if she meant for this to go on the bottom or on the top. So I'm gonna fiddle around with where I wanna put the washi strips down before I put in the full boxes. So I've decided to use these washi strips at the very top as headers. So I'm really struggling. I don't know if I wanna put the boxes kind of like right in the middle of the line or kind of keep it centered within the box, which is what I, well, I've been going back and forth. Sometimes I'll just, you know, move the formation around of the boxes by covering the divider lines and just kind of making my own divider lines. Um, I've been doing that. And you know what? I think I'm gonna go with that because we already have divider lines with my headers, my middle row of flowers, and then my picket fences on the bottom. So I already have like so much division going on. So I'm gonna put these a little sporadically around the page and hopefully it comes out good. I've made the decision, I've set it down, it's there. I feel like I'm in a lot of pressure to put these boxes down right because I love her kits 
and I hoard them, but recently I've been saying to myself, why? Like, let's start using them. They're so pretty. I, I love her kits. So I'm really out of my comfort zone just using a Chic Street <laughs> sticker boutique kit because I hoard these kits. And if I do use a Chic Street, I always try to film it because they are beautiful. I love them and I want to share them with share them with the world. I did it. I laid down the boxes. It's a big deal for me. Okay, I'm gonna fill in my sidebar, which I do use as a functional tracker. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my trackers and start filling that side of the planner in. Not that I need to cut this uh, label out to know that this is a Chic Street sticker kit, but I always like to remember what sticker kit I used. Um, I could just look at this kit, look at the foiling, look at the art and know that it's Chic Street, but I always, um, typically, I will save the name of the kit if they print it on the sticker kit and also the shop name. Just trying to figure out what to put down here to close off this little area. I have these little swirlies or I can just use the rest of the washi tape. I don't know what I want to put down there so we're going to come back to it. So I'm going to start laying down some of the functional boxes. I don't really know what the memory is yet. I'm just going to lay down functionally kind of where I want the boxes to be. Before I do that, I definitely want to get my weekend sticker down. So I usually place my weekend sticker at the top. It kind of just, it's the vibe. It's like the weekend. It's like right here. So I will place that down there and pray that it's straight. I think it's straight. It looks straight. Okay, so this Monday was a beautiful day, so I want to mark the weather, and I think because I already have a busy full box, I'm just going to go with a solid colored box and fill it in. I'm going to grab my to-do labels, and I'm going to place those right underneath these full boxes in the middle section of my planner. So I made a really good uh, homemade roasted veggie dinner. And not that it was a big deal, but I want to remember the dinner. And my mom and my aunt were visiting and it was their last night. So I just wanna remember the nice dinner we had. So I'm just looking for something that has like a dinner icon, but I don't see anything, but I see nothing for dinner. I think I'm gonna move the to-dos so that way I can fit my bigger box in here. And then I can move the to-do down here. And I'm gonna mark down what we watched. We really got into the Hands Made Tale when my mom was visiting. Stickers are sticking just a little bit. The stickers are sticking that there. I made a pretty good dinner for our last night. It was a roasted veggie dinner. And then I kind of want something to separate. I guess I could use these strips, these swatches, and I'm gonna use them just to kind of separate the memory, the evening time from my last task here. I'm gonna use one of the little coffee cups that came with the kit. It's like in a lilac purple.
I thought I would use some of this deco, but I'm not really sure how to incorporate it since I'm already using so much of the like actual kit. So I might put this aside and just save it for the next time I use the kit. So I have, I have deco left over. So I had cleaners come the morning of Tuesday. So I think I'm going to use this little orange laundry basket. I'm just gonna set, start the day with kind of like in order what we did. And I'm finally gonna use this little strip of washi here to kind of separate the memory. Down here, I already know that we went to bed early. I was pretty tired just from having, you know, company for the week. So I'm just gonna put in bed early down here. And then here, I kind of want to use, I like how this box is, you know, glittered. Oh, but I took the to-do out of there. So I gotta take the to-do out of here and move it down just so that the page looks consistent. It's not too scattered. It's already probably gonna look way scattered. Now I have two memories and this is something I kind of struggle with, you know, what what is it that I want to remember? And I like to do these decorative plans because it's just the highlight of the day when I look back and kind of just see what my week was made up of. So my daughter did catch a cold, so I don't know if I want to remember that she was sick or do I want to remember the gorgeous weather we were having? I mean, it was finally in our summer. San Francisco gets a pretty cold summer, but August, September, we warm up a little bit. So we were getting some fog free days. So I don't know if I want to remember the weather or my daughter, you know, coming down with a cold. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm just gonna remember my daughter coming down with a little bit of a cold and I could use a post-it, that's too big. I guess I'm just gonna use this purple kind of quarter box, just place it right in between here. Okay, Wednesday, I'm just gonna start off with uh, man, it was it was the warmest day of the year so far. We finally hit 80 degrees on this day, so I'm just gonna remember how hot it was. And my girls have officially gone to school. My youngest is in a preschool and my oldest was starting her first day. So it was kind of a big day for me because it was like the first time I was alone, which was uh, mixed feelings. I mean, it was finally awesome to have, you know, alone time, but then it was also very quiet. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> It was mixed feelings, but I did get a workout in and it was a guilt-free workout. Usually when I work out, I have always, always, always an interruption um, from one of my girls, but I got it done early in the morning when they were at school. So I want to remember, I did get a Peloton ride in. And once uh, the girls got home, it was so hot out that we decided to do a beach day and we were out there pretty late. I think I'm gonna use a green. So I'm gonna write down that we had a beach day. Okay, so I have the first half of the week done. I'm not like finished with the entire page. I will fill it in. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this August or if I'm gonna find a prettier August to put on there, but we'll see. Um, but look how pretty, I love her kits. Like you really don't need to put much on the kit because it her kits are always so colorful and so vibrant and so much glitter. <laughs> so I usually don't use character stickers or even icons. I just use whatever she has in the kit. So second half of the week, I'm going to just put in my morning coffee. I uh, had a really good morning. So I'm just gonna put in morning coffee, like getting it started. And I think I do have this little blue cup which I will use. 
I did get another Peloton ride in, so that was great. So I'm just gonna write that in. And like I did with the first half of the week, these to-dos, I'm gonna move down to the bottom so that I can use the bigger half boxes right here. This is going to be kind of a private memory, so I'm just going to skip over it and keep on filling in the evening memories. I think I'm going to use this peach instead of this green. Okay, and then I'm going to set separate the memory with a piece of the washi tape that she had in the kit. And I think I'm just gonna put like super productive. I did so much this evening. I mean, I did, I'm just gonna maybe like to clean. And I think I'm just gonna put this sticker, one of these uh, half boxes. I don't know, I like to see sometimes like how productive I was at something. And I could put the check boxes in here and just kind of list everything I got done. And it just makes me feel motivated when I look back and I've been like, oh, I got so much done that day. And who doesn't like checking off any kind of to-do list? <laughs> All right, so Friday. My favorite parts about Friday is my husband works from home. So I might use one of these smaller, I thought there was a smaller one. Maybe there's an icon. Yes, okay. So I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use this lilac one, this little computer, and write in that my husband worked from home. And I'm gonna use the leftover washi that I had at the bottom just as a separator between that memory and the next memory I'm gonna put in. So I got some planning time in, which is always awesome. She does give me a script that says plan, and I always like to use as much as the script that she sends. So I just gotta figure out where I wanna put it. Okay, I'm just gonna use this half box, and I did get to spend I usually get to spend a lot of time planning on Fridays because my husband's home and he can help with the drop off so I can just stay and plan. Then I'm gonna use one of these washi strips again, just to kind of separate the memory. And then we did, ooh, I hate to write this down. Don't judge me. We went to Burger King for lunch, which is, uh, you know, it's not the best enough room for this yeah i think i'm gonna use one of these little post-it notes just to break up all the half boxes i'm using and down here i'm gonna write down happy mail i don't know if she gives me a happy mail no so i'm just gonna write down happy mail and my happy mail was from chic street Okay, and then Saturday, oh my gosh, Saturday was so much fun. Okay, so the biggest thing I wanna remember is we went to a Snoop Dogg concert. So I want that to take up like the majority of the day. So I think I'm just gonna stick this down here. But that looks kind of bulky to me, having all these full boxes. Maybe I use this purple one. still kind of large. And then up here, I wanna remember, I spent time in my backyard watering plants. Very exciting stuff, I know. And then right here, we went to go pick up, oh, I know what I didn't do. I have to move this to-do. I gotta move it down here. Ah! No, I'm ripping. And I feel like I can fit one more skinny down here. Or I could put in, you know what, I might just put in a decorative. Because the day really was all about Snoop and the concert and it was so much fun. We went for my girlfriend's for her birthday and it was, ah, it was so much fun.
Okay, and then we're on to Sunday. Sunday was sleeping. We got home late and it was just take our time easing into the morning. <laughs> So Sunday, I'm just going to, I think I used all my coffee scripts. I'm just gonna write it in. I'm just gonna write in coffee. I'm going to use this leftover washi. And then down here, I believe we had a sushi dinner. We just ordered takeout again because we were not getting up off the sofa. And I just wanna make sure I don't have any kind of sleep in. Oh, lazy day for sure. I gotta use one of her scripts that says lazy day. I feel like this doesn't look right in spacing. I feel like I need to put in one of these skinnier boxes. And then here, maybe I'll use one of these like really skinny ones right here. I just want something that says sleep in cause that is what we did. Okay, and then there was a couple like little hearts in here that I wanted to use. I have these little hearts. I wanna use them like for right here maybe. I'll put one there, sleep in, heart. And then I have this little purple one. I'll put it down here in the Snoop Dogg concert cause it was bomb, I loved it and ah. This one I did not use, so I'm gonna put that back onto the sheet. A couple stickers I didn't use, so I'm gonna find homes for them. Back on the sheet, sticker sheets. And I still don't know what I'm going to put down here. So I shouldn't, I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna throw in, I'm just gonna throw in the little swirly, just, just to put something down here. Nothing too crazy. Here, I'm gonna write in steps and dinner. And then I like to go through the week now that I've just relived it and write in all of my uh, gratitude is that's usually what I track in my full box trackers is the gratitude for the week. Okay, you guys, that is the plan with me session. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle where to lay everything down. Let me grab my classic happy planner and get my sheets uh, or my pages put in. I'll give you a quick flip through of the month. Uh, here is the first week. This is a kit from DEK Designs. I, this was an old kit. I don't even remember. I mean, it was so old. I didn't save the name of the kit because they're not even making stickers. Uh, this is a little kit from Let's Plan It. And then my Chic Street. And then the last week is a kit from Daily Cuteness. And unfortunately, they also don't make kits anymore. Um, but here is Chic Street. I love it. And let me just show you what I have left from the kit. So lots, I have lots left. Like I said, her full kits definitely give you two weeks. If you get the add-ons, you can obviously go three weeks, but I still have a lot left. I didn't even touch the deco, so I have that for the next time I use the kit. But there you go. Tons of functional leftover script, full box, well not decorative full boxes, but my checklists. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys or I'll be back uh, soon. And until then, take care. Thank you guys, bye.